Can What's I do going intro? On? Can I do intro? Oh shit! I was gonna do it. All right, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you got it, Joe. You got, it. you got this. <laughs> All right. Wait, are we three, two, one, three? No, two, I already one. started going. Just go, go. Welcome to the next episode of AWT. We are on a new episode. We've got almost everybody here. We just did Turd Island. We had heated political discussion, but now we're here with AWT. Right afterwards, we have. Our boy Sliggins, we have Given Ant, we have Burn the World 10, Flatly, Leah something, Nerd. we have our two honorary members, producer Small PP and honorary member Time LG, who is our, actually going to be... And our N-word passer giver, all right? That's, uh, yes, and yeah. official AWT N-word pass giver Time Lord, who is actually going to be here to kind of help us out with this. He's going to be like yep, yep. here. And then also we have me, the sexiest, most hung, absolute most toned. All right, calm down, chuckle. This is why Absolutely. he wanted to do the intro. <laughs> You're straight up lying right there. I'm not lying. It's the truth. Lying. Okay, we had good turn on when hey, we were in for a good hey, AWT stream. If hey, you guys no, were in, said I was the best looking <laughs> member. Okay, so fuck you. Hey, listen. All right, we're gonna go over the Cody Co allegations slightly. We're gonna go into the Destiny meltdowns lately on Twitter. We might also go over a few things not on the docket, but we have a docket made by official member Robin. Thank you, Robin, for being uh, a great docket maker. By the way, Robin made a great docket. Yeah, this is Rock and Robin. Yeah. Uh, so we want to thank Robin as an official AWT member. Make sure you guys like him support and all. We're going to talk about Destiny, and then we might touch on a little bit of the Turd Island. We might touch on a little bit of the stuff that's happened over the week, but that's what we're focused on, so let's go. We might even just touch you. No, I'm just... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, Straight for the touching. Uh, I guess Cody Co. first. I know Flatly has a little more knowledge about this, because I know in a previous mm. AWT, uh, Flatly brought up how Tana Mogu, or Moju Mongu Mulu Tana Mulu. Mongu. I call her I, yeah. She's Mojo, but I call her Mongoose. I call her Tana Mula, so there you go. But hey, Flatly I'm gonna brought up something. previously. I'm uh, fucked by a toothbrush. I, I, I'm going to say, I, it, I wasn't really surprised by the Cody Ko stuff, honestly, because he's just like a grown frat man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that, that he, so. Yeah. I'm yeah, I'm surprised like I okay so I'm surprised it happened I'm not surprised it happened with Tana because Tana is like yeah. Jason Nash was like even being creepy towards her when she was a minor as well so like I'm I'm not surprised that this had happened to her yeah it's it's I mean it's pretty sad that it has happened you know um, this was talked about years ago and nobody else was talking about it. And the H3, H3 was like talking about how, uh, and I would wonder what you guys think about this, but H3, H3 was like saying, you know, Cody Co is like a commentary bro kind of person, which I don't see, but yeah. the reason why it Early wasn't days, really maybe. covered was because he was like, Involved with commentary. What do you guys think about that? Uh, no. I knew the older version of like, cause I was a like, I was always on Vine when I was in high school. That's where I pretty much knew him from. In that entire group of people, like, uh, like, was Tana? No, I don't think was Tana. No, she wasn't on Vine. But like that entire group, Cody Co was part of. Were always a bit iffy on, on that kind of stuff, which I found, mm -hmm. which is why I'm not really surprised by it. Because when I looked back on those like old vines and stuff, I'm like, yeah, this is a uh, this is a bit weird. But also yeah. like that the persona he has is like this like grown frat guy. Like, dude, I can't believe you took two kegs instead of three. Like, it, it, yeah, I don't know. It, I, so I'm not really surprised that it went down. But also I knew about this like years before, like you said, because it was already talked about. But just nobody paid attention to it for some reason. It reminds me of like the Adam Twenty Two thing, where you where you did that thing with the sixteen year old, but then everybody wants to talk about the cuck stuff instead, and everybody just ignored it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was. Well, I, I think, think it was. You, well, you go, I, I think the reasoning is like no one's talked about it, is just because there's not a lot of info on it. Because we have Tana. Tana is not really a really trustworthy person. Um, 
just because of their history yeah. and they're very controversial person. And so that's why Gabby a lot Hunt of people are like questioning well, it. So it's just like, yeah, which I think why people are now looking at it is because now they've talked about it more. And also uh, there's more clips of like older clips that were found that like D'Angelo Wallace found, which that guy's a fucking nut job. I don't like, I don't like D'Angelo Wallace, but he actually did a very solid video on this. He looks like low um, But like he found that old Gannett, uh, Gabby Hanna clip that added more uh, continuity to the story, which is making it look a lot worse. That's why a lot more people are talking about it. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, <laughs> everyone's, it, I mean, C- Cody Co hasn't uploaded for, like, what, seven days um, since then when he was uploading, like, every two days, but then he's just stopped uploading it when this all started being talked to. And then now they just found that he's de- DJing. <laughs> he's de- he DJing. Yeah, he's, he's ignoring it. He, he, Literally. He's just, he's just, <laughs> He's just making music to make the pedo accusations go away. That's the I, best way to do it. And I think his comments are being like monitored, like certain words related oh, to are. it are instantly yeah, hidden. They're being deleted. They're really? being deleted. Yeah. So if you go to his wife's, if you go to his wife's comments, they're all about Cody Ko. But if you go to Cody Ko's most recent video, um, uh, it's all about the you video, see no not, comments not, uh, about it. There's just about the video. Now people, since since they're blocking all of the anybody mentioning the allegations, now they're just making saying lyrics from uh Kendrick Lamar's uh Not Like Us song <laughs> instead. <laughs> oh, that, wow. That's getting through. But yeah, I mean he's censoring it. So he's clearly trying to run and hide and just do what basically it I think he's just gonna worse. try not to ignore it. It honestly does. It makes it look like like he's just straight up hiding it. There's it. A di- you're right. There's a difference between not talking about it like at all whatsoever and just going dark because you're you're working on a response and then just censoring it. There's a major yeah. difference. Yeah. yeah, one makes you look guilty. One it. makes you look like, all right, they might have, they might have a response. The major and difference. Apparently, there's also another accusations which I'm still looking into. I'm probably going to make a video about it, but they possibly might have been been dating a uh, high schooler at one point. Oh, no. yeah, I, I Wait, saw that. Saw on wasn't uh, that I'm on Reddit? Sure. Yeah, I saw it on yeah. Reddit. I saw the video. There's a picture of like there's a video of them on Vine of him kissing the alleged minor high schooler but again i don't uh don't take this take this with a grain of salt because i haven't i haven't done enough research on it yet i was gonna look into it tomorrow but that's a new allegation with him honestly i think this is gonna be like on colleen ballinger levels kind of stuff because that now there's also a a clip of him getting ember ember emma chamberlain a sixteen oh, year yeah. old, a sixteen year old at the time, smoking a vape, for like the that's, first time. Oh, fucking, I, I, okay, that, that, I, I don't really care about it, that. It, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I, yeah, this guy's being I, accused like, of statutory rape, and then they're like, oh yeah, they, they, he made her they smoke a vape for the first time. Now she's addicted. A vape. It's like a sixteen year old. I mean, don't vape, do that, like, obviously, okay. but I, I don't right. think it's like to the group. It's really group, not a big uh, deal yeah. to me right now because they're yeah, literally statutory rape. rape. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I think it'll, I think it'll be like Lord. a clean level kind of, kind of type of cancellation. People are starting to look into mm. him. Um, you know, the one thing that I did see is, uh, or I did want to say was that there was one, um, particular YouTuber that did not respond to the, their allegations back in the day. And it was like the worst thing that they did. Um, and it was Repzilla. So like when Repzilla was being, being oh. canceled, he specifically did not answer these people, right? Because he's like, oh, I just want to focus on positivity. And it went really bad for him. So I think not responding is like the worst kind of route to take. Yeah, and not responding and then sweet and then sweeping and like hiding shit even more it makes you look even worse to begin yeah. with in the end of the day anyways. So Yeah. It's not like he's just not responding. He's also like censoring comments, fucking hiding shit. So yeah. Yeah. I well it's I think it's now getting worse for him where he, I think now he probably will respond within the next couple like at least the next month I'm hoping. But because now he's having business partners leave him. And other content creators Please just call him that, that from like him. who's his friend that he always makes videos with? What, what's that? Noel. Guy? I forgot. Yes, that guy's yeah. so dope. I I hope he leaves him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I want to point out one answer. thing. I want to point out one thing because I was re-listening to old AWT uh, episodes, which is something I 
typically don't do because I hate hearing my own voice. Oh, shut up. You're a narcissist just like the rest of us. No, I actually I'm hate kidding. my own I'm voice. Just, I'm, I'm kidding. I actually I'm hate kidding. my own voice. Um, here's the thing. My favorite episode of AWT has flatly, very loosely mentioning the Cody Ko Tana Mongu thing. I think we breeze past it, and now we're where <laughs> we are now. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. And he's like, literally. yeah, uh, Tana Mongu accused Cody Ko of doing this thing on her podcast, but she's done this before, so, uh, and then we breeze past it. I'm like, now we are where we are right now. That's so the, yeah. there are times where it's like, there's a, like a drama that I see on Reddit, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not going to cover it. I don't think it, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's not going to blow up. And then like a day later, it blows up. And I'm just like, fuck, mm -hmm. like I should have, <laughs> yeah. I should have fucking covered it. So yeah, yeah it, it sucks to get through things like that. That's funny that you guys, you and Flatley had that conversation. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's uh. That was an episode you weren't there for, but it is my personal favorite episode, and everybody knows uh, my personal favorite is the one where we tried to make a docket before Robin. Oh, uh, I, we, yeah, I made the fucking yeah, docket, and we you just made the docket, and we went through it in five minutes, and then just <laughs> flatly docked a few names and all that, and oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. But yeah. Oh, but I, we're gonna I, accept I Robin's docket. Hmm? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But yeah. I, I hope I hope Cody Co does respond one because I want to make a video on it because I <laughs> want content too. I mean, this is starting to get bad for him, especially if he just straight up ignores it. Like, it makes what him look so like, much worse. What if yeah. he's like funny thought? What if he's like while he's DJing, he's just like writing notes it, like next to him on, on the fucking turntable. But like his response, <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> <laughs> he should whip up the ukulele. That would be funny. For, or no, he should just DJ his response. He should literally just that. DJ his response. That would be the greatest Eric, Eric, thing I ever. did not do statutory rape. Eric, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> just hitting like the beat drop when he says that. <laughs> do, 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 I did not I don't... statutory rape. <laughs> I did not touch that. <laughs> I don't know if he will respond because I mean, from what bit I haven't fully sat down and watched D'Angelo Wallace's video. I've seen other people covering his video, and. Uh -huh. Apparently, yeah. it seems from what I was hearing in that, it seems like this has been brought up multiple times over like years. But this is just the first time that like a big creator like D'Angelo Wallace and H3 and whatnot have have covered it, and that's why it's getting as big as it is. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's, he's managed to just ignore it in the past and clearly keep on growing and growing. I I, I personally don't know if he will. Now. Well, now it's getting more mainstream, and he's losing business. Like I think he got kicked out of a podcast company one uh, recently. Um, oh, so, God. or a podcast left his group. Um, uh, I think it was called like emergency in, uh, intercom or something. So he's losing business now. Um, he's losing like a shit ton of subs. So before he could ignore it because nobody knew about it. I mean, like a couple smaller comic commentators and people behind the scenes maybe knew about it, but there's like not enough to go off. Yeah. Now there's more clips to go off, which is making it more likely. I mean, this could all still be fake, which. I personally don't believe just because I don't know. I don't, it, there's a lot of continuity with it. And it seems like it's, I don't know. To me, it just feels like it's probably true. But it could be fake. I don't know. It's yeah. Tandem, it's Tandem Mongoose. I don't, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I, I think it's real. I, I don't think this is fake at all. See, there's, uh, I'm leaning towards it. It probably did happen because that entire group of Vine people are degenerates. All right, they're all. Let's not forget, yeah, let's not forget Curtis Lepore. Yep. Yeah. Racist. Yep. Let's not forget Curtis Lepore. Dude. Yeah. He... And then Jason Nash being a weirdo, and then oh, Jason the, Nash. I know and that. then and then what? What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, the one that was what friends with Abby on? Hanna. No, yeah, she she's not degenerate. She's just fucking annoying. But uh, <laughs> not even hot. Not <laughs> even hot. Get what was her, her? What was what was the name of that guy that was friends with Gabby Hanna and he would like bully her all the time? Like David Dobrik. Yeah, there you go. That guy's a weirdo oh, too. Hey, the Pauls. The Pauls. Yeah, the Pauls. 
they're yeah, that one guy Don or whatever that was in their group. Oh yeah, Dom, Dirty Don. Dom, <laughs> yeah, that Dom, guy was yeah, that Dom. Guy, bro, literally like just a frat guy or whatever that would like host parties and stuff and just touch people unconsensually. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that guy was nuts. Like he just did it openly too. Like he he just did mm -hmm. not care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that entire group of like Vine people are all fucked in the head. I I swear to God, there's only like a couple of good ones, but like most of them are are either annoying or they're just fucking degenerate weirdos. I swear, or they're insane. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um. I mean, there's nothing really much about Kirby Kill. I just want them to respond soon so I can make videos on it. <laughs> Was there anything it. else that anybody wanted to say before we move on to Destiny? Uh, uh, I will say uh, Cody Ko touched my penis. Oh, my God. <laughs> just his hands. He, he needed two hands. He needed two hands. Not just oh, like... yes. <laughs> Not only a compliment, but also uh, I feel bad now. <laughs> justice, for, justice for Joe. I, justice you know, for Joe. I'm yeah. so justice sorry, Joe. Put that in the comments, guys. You. Hashtag justice for Joe. Tr make it trending on uh, Twitter. <laughs> and, uh, the big, the big Vine apocalypse thing. I thought brought a lot of uh, unwanted talent. I say unwanted mm -hmm. because people who were there. If you were on YouTube, well, it was there. The uh, it happened. was it was terrible. It was all yeah, it, it was one hundred percent unwanted. Because 100%. it was it was Vine brain rot joining an already established yep. YouTube ecosystem and just poisoning the water. Okay, it, yeah, it's, like, it's like in your it's like in your it's like in, in your uh, city, whatever your state in. They have the big giant dump and they're just dumping shit into the ocean. That's literally mm -hmm. what it was like when when it ended. And a, like, a lot of that poison is still here today. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, the like Paul, Brent, Brent uh, Rivera. The Paul brothers. The Pauls don't, don't really... Not, I wouldn't say the Paul so much anymore, but it's like people yeah, like Brent Rivera, Rivera and like that yep. is re still incredibly... Oh, fuck that guy. The guy that keeps doing thirst Dog traps shit. with his sister. I, I yep. always still argue the poison's still there because back in the day we had the Paul brothers. We had uh, Lele Pons. We had... Mm -hmm. um, match. Oh. King Batch. We had Amanda that guy's Cerny. Still around. We had yeah, Amanda He's not Cerny. even funny. Like it, 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 like it's he just. Oh, dude, I don't get it. Like I don't understand Anna how Stockings. people find him funny. Oh, hit. Oh, By the way, Amanda Cerny did Liz a Playboy model. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, Amanda Cerny was like probably like she's actually normal. Like I'm sorry, but she's probably one yeah. of the only. She did, ones she did a Playboy thing where she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna like go naked for Playboy," and it's like, "Oh, well, that's Based. like some." The most you've ever offered to society because you're not funny and no one cares. So, there you wasn't go. she like already a model before her? Yeah, yeah, she already up? was. Yeah, 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 she was already uh, part of Playboy and stuff before all that happened. It just so happens that Vine made her bigger to the point where it helped her modeling career. Yeah. Anyway, wow. like, yeah, like all those Vine people, like I, I hate even... all of them except for a couple of them. But other than that, I hate all of them. Yeah, they suck. Yeah, like, you saw yeah. it. They they sucked, and I remember back in the day when that was a big problem. The Paul brothers, Drew Gooden. I know Drew Gooden was one of the few where people were like, "Yeah, this guy's all right," but even then, mm -hmm. like, what is Drew Gooden doing now? It it it. Uh, I do not believe that the Boy Vine apocalypse, as it's called, was a good thing. I think no. uh, Vine should have stayed. There never should have been a TikTok. Let the Vine people do the Vine things. Let the YouTube people do the YouTube things. It was because he, uh. My bad, my bad. You continue, my bad. No, that was it. That was it. All right, so the yeah, reason yeah. why it got shut down is because it wasn't making enough money, apparently. And yeah. it was the it was Twitter beforehand that owned them. So Elon Musk, bring it back, bring back their bring back their shit so we don't have to deal with them anymore. Wasn't it like they were Please. giving too much money to the create they were like paying creators too much money? Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They were just bleeding money to the creators trying to keep them on the platform. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was got, insane. Now we got people like Jack Doherty. We got oh, Neil God. and all yeah, these they're like the, uh, actual I'm losers. Yeah, Shigo. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think Vine would like survive today. Even though if you want well, to no, because you've back. got YouTube Shorts and TikToks nah. already. TikTok yeah, already yeah, filled that gap. Yeah. So there's no reason why to bring back Vine. Bring it back just for them, so they can get all, so they can get out of here. I, I don't like <laughs> <her>. <laughs> The only thing I have to say about the, the specifically the Cody Co stuff is I personally don't really view it as that big of a deal. Ooh. Like, well, because I mean, it happened 
years ago. And well, very clearly from the way that, uh, from the clips that I've seen of Tana talking about it, she acknowledges that it happened. And yeah, it isn't something that should have happened, but she very clearly like doesn't really like her, at least from the way she talks about it, doesn't really view it as like this. The worst thing awful, in the world. Yeah. Like she does, she's not saying that like, oh, he raped me or assaulted me. It's just, we hooked up whenever I was 17 and he was 25 or whatever. And then one thing I think, I think D'Angelo brings it up in his video or whatever. People, when they talk about like power dynamics, or like she was a fan, this, that, and the other. It's like, yeah, but it happened at like a, um, like a content creator, like event. So she was like, she wasn't a Viner, but she was already like at least an established creator on like YouTube at the time. So like, she also had power as well. Even if she was seventeen, I don't. I've I've I, never been like really buy into like the power dynamic bullshit. Because even if somebody's okay, I, famous, you still have the ability to be your own person and say like no. I agree to the power dynamic thing to an extent, and then with the like, oh, it happened a while ago. When I made my Cody Code video, that's what a lot of people who were the Cody Code fans defending him. They kept saying, "Well, it happened like a cu like a couple years ago. Why should it matter?" And I'm just I mean, like, "It happened." It, like, yeah, well, I, it, it's, it's fair to criticize him now for it, but like to try to cancel him over it whenever he—it clearly was like a one-time thing, and he had, it, at least from what we know so far, it, it wasn't like a repeated thing with the information available now. Well, like, I just don't. It to still happened. That, just yeah, to it the, hasn't happened. Yeah. Maybe I, I mean I wouldn't call him a, maybe like a pedophile at like. So if it happened once, then sure. But it's still illegal and it's still technically statutory rape by definition. Yeah. And it's I'm not yeah. denying any of that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree I agree with Ant right there, yeah. 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 No, yeah, it's all still bad, it's still statutory rape. I just don't like the whole like cancel brigade after him. I just I don't really agree with that aspect of it because of it was so long ago and it wasn't like a I mean, as far as we know, like unless more shit comes out in which case, like, he was doing this for, like, years with different creators or or whatever. And it was, like, other underage girls and shit like that. Unless something like that comes out, to me, it's just, like, it happened years ago. Yeah, criticize him for it, but, like, why can't... I don't see the point in canceling him. Every, it very clearly, like, isn't something... At least for what we know now, it, it wasn't, like, a repeated uh, behavior. Well, there's a possibility that he might have been dating a uh, high schooler... Uh, yeah, you mentioned that earlier. That was that's my first time hearing about that. That's so I, right. So if that's even true, then he has a repeated a uh, uh, repeated uh, mm -hmm. pattern of behavior, which is weird. But yeah, I mean, even though he's like, if he only did it once, even though if he did it once, I don't think that negates the problem that like he actually is like that's is still a problem. And I think he definitely still needs to respond to it and call, be called out. Maybe not have his whole career ruined. Yeah, that's what so I'm saying. Just, not the career ending, but like criticize him and hold him accountable. Yeah, but career ending, that's a little yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, hold accountability. I don't, I don't think. You yeah, yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying, 100. Yeah. percent Um, where did Leia go? <laughs> yeah, that was my <laughs> yeah. that. Hey, flatly, what do you think about this topic? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Leia and flatly both. Leah left. Flatly gone. No, we lost our, uh, you know, 128 views. Uh, a, a stream person. Fuck no! no I'm just. Kidding. We lost our tit bait. <laughs> we lost tit bait. We lost tit bait. We lost, we lost our, the woman. We, we lost our trans representation, guys. We did. No. God damn it. My oh, no, dog, uh, I guess all we have is dog representation. Which fuck this dog. She's actually mean. <laughs> All right. So, anybody else got to say anything about uh Cody Co statutory rape allegations? Uh anybody? Nah, no, let's uh let's move uh, on to oh, Destiny. Wait. Let's wait, move wait, on Bert, to Bert, Destiny. Something. Oh, wait, what burn? What did you say? Sorry. I, said, well, I, I don't Not right, gonna right. lie. Uh I mean like flatly already exposed it. I mean I get I get like like oh, D'Angelo's a bigger creator, but like Flatley also was on that shit. Not trying to like suck Flatley's dick, <laughs> but like Flatley was already on the case. Other mm -hmm. YouTubers was on the case. Well, why, did, why did everyone start listening to fucking D'Angelo Wallace of all people? Well, like, because like, of the, the audience size. Yeah, 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 audience size. Yeah. High, more <laughs> it, goes people along, it goes around a lot more. And plus, this has been I going mean, on for years, even before Flatley called it out. Yeah, there's smaller commentator channels that have made videos on these allegations. Um, maybe not with as many clips, but they still made them content off it they just never blew up because well nobody bigger talked about it i mean 
for example, right, this like Chris Tyson stuff that just recently gone on, not a lot of people are talking about it and until a lot of these bigger commentators. Oh, that shit is so fucking weird, bro. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, yeah, and how old? No, right, that's the main story. thing I have about this is like, oh, he's changed. Oh, he's changed. Well, how old was he when he was doing this shit? Oh, uh, like. Or she, my bad. Whoops. Uh, how old was she when she was doing this? I actually don't know but they were definitely an adult all right so you're a fucking adult like what you, you, oh, you now you now you need room to change the fuck are you <laughs> yeah, talking it's, about it's weird it's that whole th like those DMs, oh guys i, mean, I was a i i was so into you know I, I was a pedophile before but you know guys i've changed for the better guys don't even chris that. tyson replied to multiple tweets if you guys don't know the whole situation um Basically, Ava Chris Tyson just replied to a bunch of tweets in relation to Shadman. Like, we already knew the one that they had that one art of uh, a what appeared to be a little girl um, drawn by Shadman, who's a literally CP lolly art maker uh, in his room. But there was others where he, yeah. uh, where he or she um, apparently were replying to tweets of a Caillou being molested by his mom and like saying like oh that's <laughs> oh, like that. oh, or no there was another one where somebody posted a, like a bunch of like a pictures a collage of violet um from the spickle me not spickle me why did i say fucking spickle uh, me um, incredible yeah incredible. Invincible. <laughs> yeah i don't know why <laughs> damn i was gonna say the invincibles who is, but yeah. who is 14 in that in the movie and them yep. saying Loki, she cute. Yeah, and wasn't there wasn't there a response to that whole thing? He's like, "Oh, I just kept making those jokes because I knew Shadman was getting called out for this kind of stuff." So yeah, I was I was just making fun of like, that. Apparently, apparently, there's a DM from uh, uh, Jalen, yeah, where apparently they said that. Um, which which I, 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 I don't know. Really my weird. I, yeah, we also liked Lolly, by the way, like straight up, just straight up Lolly. <laughs> So let's get no. Mr. Lyrics and Mr. Sen on the line. <laughs> all right, let me let me, also, let me drag also, Lyrics also, in. He's in waiting. Also, no, all this like lolly love was <laughs> before Chris fucking transitioned. So, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I don't see I'm... how that has anything to do with it. Well, like I mean, the thing is, is like making... a lot because of people, people think... are saying like they're a pedophile because like the trans thing. I'm just oh, thinking yeah, 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 yeah. all which before. is stupid, which is dumb. Uh, it was before. That was literally before, and I mean, I even made this statement in the video. It's like, a lot of people think that this is happening, and they're defending Chris because they became trans, and they're a trans ally and all this. It's like, but they still did something highly illegal. Oh, I guess not illegal, but they, they liked literal pedophilic shit. They were requesting. Yeah, There's one where they were literally requesting. There's a, I think it was a 10-year-old, like, anime girl. I don't remember her name. There's a picture, and Shadman's like, why are people keep sending me this? And show the picture of this girl. And literally, Ava Tyson literally went into the, in the replies, was like, please, Shadman, please, please, please make art, please. <laughs> See, this this is, girl. <laughs> in a, dude, that, and like I said before, the only defense people have for this really is like, oh, they are a changed person. This happened years ago. They were a grown ass adult. When they when they were doing this shit, bro, mm. there's no excuse yeah. for it. And this isn't just like and this isn't like the Cody ago. Co. This isn't about like the Cody Co. stuff. All right, where yeah, that whole thing. The, the, like this is like inexcusable. Like honestly, literally, literally, like it's disgusting shit that they're doing. Like absolutely abhorrent. Yeah. And people's only defense was like, oh, it happened years ago. They're a changed person. They were a grown person. How much more are they gonna change, yeah. bro? What, their frontal lobe? Oh, yeah, maybe they were, like, 23. Oh, no, their frontal lobe wasn't fully finished by 25. Who cares? This... They're a grown-ass fucking adult fucking yeah. doing this weird-ass fucking disgusting shit. And I yeah, disavow exactly. it entirely. Like, I'm gonna and criticize you for doing right. that. I don't yeah, care. Just... Yeah. And I also find it funny that after that video and other videos, uh, Chris Tyson has deleted all tweets, nuked their entire Twitter. Oh, oh no, yeah. yeah they, 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 they went through the whole thing, yeah. Twitter. Oh, it's slightly back. Um, yeah, it came back right at the only part. Everything. <laughs> yeah, so, they like fucking everything, dude. So Chris Tyson, I believe Mr. Beast's firm went through everything and did that. I believe Chris Tyson himself did that. 
I believe White it was a public relations. And dude, there was literally uh, an uh, old Mr. Beast video where there's literally a pit, like that fucking drawn thing on the wall, like in the bedroom. Mr. Beast yeah. is looking at it, and, and he's Mr. looking Beast at it and shit. It. Bro, you see like, how weirded out Jimmy is by doing? that? Yeah, he literally was weirded. I could see his facial expression, like, uh, what, 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 what the fuck? I, honestly, honestly, like, I know people were saying, oh, they need to get rid of Chris because they transition, like they're bad for the brand. Like, I'm no, like, okay. I don't fucking care if they transition. I don't give a shit. But the thing I want, why I want them gone from Mr. B's videos is literally just because of this fucking pedo shit that they like. They literally liked Lolly and were begging a literal pedophile CP drawler for <laughs> to make art of a 10 year old girl and also called a 14 year old girl, girl cute. <laughs> yeah, and and, and and like the whole Jalen DM that that completely just gets negated when you realize that he literally she literally had Shadman's uh fucking shit on the wall. Well, the thing is, like, is like even with that message, with that message, we only knew about the art, um, about the art on the wall. That's the only one we really knew about. We didn't know about all these other responses because yeah. they deleted them all. Somehow, somebody mm -hmm. else got all of them. Found, Archived all that so shit. We, and oh apparently, I'm, I, I'm going to be honest. I've been doing some digging. There's, there's more shit that uh, that uh, was not in that video, and I'm still oh, verifying yeah. it. But I've been looking into it. Yeah, there's more shit that is makes them even worse. So it it gets back worse. Trust me. Are you talking about that comment that that was underneath that video about the 14 year old yeah. that Chris was allegedly talking to? Yeah, I've been digging into uh, that, and there's some uh, shit about it. That's making me question it, but I'm still looking into it to so, verify if that's on the Reddit. Anything. I don't know if you guys have noticed those those mods. If you can, you can go back just like when Chris first started transitioning, when they started coming back into the videos. Mm -hmm. But Chandler and Jake the Viking, they knew what was going on beforehand behind the scenes, but have signed. I, I don't know how factual this is, but it makes a lot of sense. But they have signed NDAs where they cannot talk about it, right? So I don't know if you guys know who Jake the Viking is. LSU Tiger, yeah, yeah, D1. Uh, really, like, this guy's like a bro's bro, right? So, of course, he'd be great for yeah, Mr. Yeah. Beast videos, explosions and shit running through walls, stuff like that, right? He's not going to – he's going to see this. I'd be like, what the fuck? So then there was – um, then there was Chandler. When Chandler – they were doing, like, a, a box opening a while back, and Chris was making all these jokes, and you could already tell – Chandler showed up to work that day, but the energy in the room was just not there. And Jimmy's a nice guy. He's not going to call stuff out. You know what I mean? That's not him. But yeah, Chandler, it really looks like Chandler was biting a bullet. He, he literally looked like he was, he was fucking sitting on his hands, biting his tongue, couldn't say anything. And well, someone alluded to that on Reddit. And then they didn't, they didn't specify it, but it was liked by Jake the Viking. Oh, yeah. shit. Well, I would also look at it like some people look at it that way, but also if they just transition, it's probably really fucking awkward for everybody because it's it's just, it's a huge change. It's not gonna I, be like an I, easy if, if it to comes, deal. If if it comes out that they they all knew and just kept their mouths shut, that it's over. Like, I don't think it'll be over. Yeah, if it, it probably won't be over, but it'll put a stain on something, dude. Because like that. If you're like keeping your mouth shut about that weird shit, dude, like, it, like, no, just stop, stop it, get some help. Like, what the fuck? And they still have them around, which is my biggest problem. Like, if they got rid of them, then that's then that makes then that's fine. I think that's a good thing. But I also you also have to look at this like this is Jimmy's like childhood friend, so it's probably like a yeah. different story. Yeah. Um, somebody like he's known for years. I mean, imagine somebody who you've known since you're since you. High school. Uh, and it's been through everything. Yeah, it would be but, a lot harder. I mean, like, mm, you can have your things. I mean, I personally think they're, like, very pedophilic for what they're doing. Yeah, it, it, but like, Mr. The, Beast is probably, like, trying to give them the benefit of a doubt because they're best friends. Like, I'm looking at it for more of, like, less of an online sphere, but more if this happened with me. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, I well, I would see this is where me and you have a difference, Dan. If I, even if I've known you since I was like a, a kid and you're my best friend, and I found out you're doing that, I'm calling you out. I don't give a shit. Oh no, 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 no! It's I disgusting. Bet you he did I bet you? I bet you, Jimmy probably did behind the scenes, but I'm talking about publicly. Oh yeah, well, 
e e even there's that, a lot of money I'm... involved with that channel so there's probably a lot yeah. of contracts so they really uh... I, I, yeah if you look at mr beast right now look at the people he's been including in his videos Sacrificing like the youtubers money, as usual well look at look at the youtube video with all the youtubers we only oh, saw yeah. carl all that. right and then i believe the island video i don't even think chris was even there for that was he? Let no, me look wow. Barely, the person, that, the person with there. pedophilic tendencies wasn't on the island? I'm going to be, be real. The majority of, like, Mr. Oh, Beast's oh, crew oh, oh. is not even there anymore. Um, The only one I Did see in every please? video is probably oh, Nolan. Fuck is? Oh, yeah, oh, he's still there. Oh, Nolan and um Carl. Nor Dude. Yeah, Nolan and Carl are the only ones I see consistently still there. Chris is, like, there for, like, one or two episodes, and then they're gone for, like, a chunk of time. I feel like if Trend Crave or uh, Nolan left, if he went back to his fucking Trend Crave fucking shit, dude, that shit would blow up. I like, like Nolan. He's fine. I he's think fine. It's yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, I agree. I used to watch I his shit Carl's before annoying. he was on uh, the Mr. B stuff. Carl's annoying as fuck. I'm gonna be real. Well, I don't really watch Mr. B shit. I, 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 see I don't watch it religiously, there, but... but once in a while, if I'm really fucking bored, I'll just like put on one of their videos. Because I know they're for I, I know they're for a younger audience, but they do some pretty cool shit that I'm like, oh, that's kind of sick. The fifty YouTubers one, pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah that's kind of fun. That was fun. I was I honestly I was cheering for like Ludwig, but sure. No, fuck, fuck Ludwig. Oh no. Okay, I was actually. I hate the Jewish donate. aristocracy. I hate all. Bro, he didn't donate enough to you're, fucking you're... Palestine. What a piece of shit. <clears throat> okay, no, it was more of the uh, uh, near the end. I was because everyone else I wanted got kicked out. I was. The main three I wanted to win that was Laser Beam, J Slat, or uh, Kai Sinat. Okay. J Slat to win. Huh? Yeah, J Slat. I fucking love J that guy. I that guy's I hilarious. Think, I think J Slat's probably one of the only people from that group of Twitch people that I actually like. Literally, <laughs> the, fuck, dude. literally the rest of them. Oh, dude, I can't stand this Twitch aristocracy people, bro. I hate, like, they're they're all... Ugh, dude, they're all fake as fuck. I swear to God. Yeah, I like Jay Schleid and his comment. I was literally watching a video of his today because he's like literally up my alley for humor. It's got some dark humor, but also not at the. It's not. Oh, recently. Oh, yeah. I, the, a lot of this stuff is more coming to light <laughs> since um, the Night Media firm dro or um, Mr. Beast dropped um, the Night Media. Mm hmm. And and uh, it, Jimmy it. was saying that they they um, he brought in more than six hundred million in a annual revenue, um, and then he, on top of that, before he even sold the Beast games to Amazon Prime Video, and his uh, Night Media didn't even do anything, and he's saying it's a PR disaster and all this other kind of stuff. They fell out a while ago, a uh, last two mm -hmm. months ago. Wait for what? Wait, what is night? What? Night Media is a media company that owned Mr. Beast. They would help out with like, um, oh, so they networking and stuff like that. And Mr. Beast wanted to, um, like, do his go back to his own thing, doing his own thing. Now that he has, oh, his, yeah, yeah. He has his own people and everything to do. And like they they do stuff for like Kai Sinet, LFM, uh, Theo Vaughn, a bunch of people, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe All Night right. Media is owned by Disney, if I'm not mistaken. Whoa! Oh, pedophilia and Disney? Who would have thought? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, is there anything else about this Mr. Beast, Chris Tyson? I, yeah, I said what yeah. I need to say. Oh, no, they're independent. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I just looked it up. Yeah, they're independent. Um, Lido. All right. So, anybody, uh, any, any other words on this? Or are we gonna get to Man Child Destiny? That takes too much Vivance. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, virtual think, uh, dining think, concepts LLC is yeah. the another is the latest partnership. I'm gonna virtually right now. dine on you. All right. Let's move on to the next topic. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I guess I guess they are having rifts with the um making wells and everything like that because the media company was having problems with Jimmy spending all the money from the YouTube videos on doing that stuff because they couldn't make any money. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let's and I guess virtual dining literally... is, is getting sponsors so that they can pay for their portion and Mr. Beast can pay for their portion so that nobody goes without pay. Oh, all right. 
All right, uh, next topic, Destiny. Uh, th thoughts on his recent actions? Oh, and did he not get rid of his tweets yet? Or are they still up? No, of course he's going to keep them up, bro. It's fucking Destiny, dude. He don't give a fuck. Super L, then. Yeah, super L. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, it, 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 like uh, I'm not defending what he said, which I thought what he said was pretty gross and disgusting. But uh, he, like, this isn't even the worst thing he's ever said. <laughs> like, like this isn't the most unhinged thing he's done. This isn't the first time this has happened. Like, this is a cycle of destiny where some big thing happens, and then he like spurgs out over it and just like goes completely like fucking schizo. But yeah, yeah. It, yeah I'm not surprised because Destiny's political, and you know it's it's election year. He's I, he's going all out right now. I always I always see Destiny. He's one of those political tards and i don't take any political tards seriously no matter what side and whatever opinion they have oh yeah there's a rare there's a rare chance i'm gonna see like one of these political streamers and be like oh that's actually a smart take because most of the time i'm just like you're being an absolute fucking moron well i'm um, retarded for politics so that's why i don't look me too i, don't I mean honestly i don't stuff. pay attention to the politics i'm not really on any side in particular i guess i would be say i lean more conservative if yeah I people have told me pick. like the way the things i talk about it, like the way i speak and all that kind of they're like yeah dude you're you're conservative i'm like well i guess i'm a conservative i guess <laughs> i don't yeah. fucking know i don't know <laughs> like i don't yeah, really honestly, honestly, i'm too retarded for politics honestly i am too but the thing is is like with the trump rally thing um Destiny has a like Destiny has the free speech thing. He is free to talk to. He's, yeah, say he's what allowed he wants. to say it. He's I just... think it's gay for people like Twitch and other fucking people to like ban him and remove him because of the shit because of the shit he said about the firefighter. Now, don't get me wrong. What he said about the firefighter generally fucking pissed me off. Especially, it's more personal to me yeah. as as a fellow you know a fellow brother. Oh yeah, absolutely. And that generally got me really pissed off at him. But I still think he's able. He should be able to say that. Yeah, like, without, I don't without, think he should like, be, like, literally censored because he said something, like, abhorrent. Like, that's just, like, this is, we're in America. Like, why, why are we censoring that? I think that's gay. Which was Joe's take earlier on Turd Island. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Has he been banned anywhere from this specifically? Uh, his son got banned for pulling out a, a fake toy gun and then running into his dad's room. Pretend to, like, uh, shoot Destiny him. Destiny has been. Destiny himself on Twitch, I believe. Well, that was a long time. He's been banned on Twitch for like yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, it's been like years. I'm about for, I'm talking about for this specifically. He, has, he was banned he's on Kick for it. Kick. Oh, yeah. it's Kick. For oh, this yeah, Kick, who won't ban the pedophiles, but they'll ban Destiny for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they won't ban a pedophile because uh, they're funny. Dude. They won't ban a pedophile because they're funny, but we'll ban Twitch because he said something abhorrent about a, like a shooting. Like, I think that's ridiculous. And yeah. I just want to say this. Um, thank. Like I'm not, I'm no fan of Trump. I don't give a, I don't honestly give a fuck about him. Um, and I also think some of the things he does say is fucking retarded as shit. But thank God they missed because holy shit, we would be in a different world if that he got fucking killed. I'm saying I <laughs> think were. I honestly think we would have went to a civil war. I do too. Oh well, yeah, yeah, for that. sure. I absolutely. No, I know there's good people on Twitter. I wouldn't say it, it. It could go either way, honestly. It, it probably would have been like. Be, like uh blm but just like on steroids because I, I yeah I, I, that half, I don't think it would cause civil war but it will cause a lot of divide diverse and just a lot of violence because if you have like i mean the trump and biden are the big front runners right now when you kill one of the front runners that's just going to cause a fucking nightmare right. and a half so i know some people fucking hate trump yeah. they don't want him to run but you should be goddamn thankful that they did because oh, holy shit oh, i was i know yeah. the same thing if they shot at biden like Biden's a fucking moron from what I've seen, and he looks like he's falling asleep half the time he talks. But <laughs> I like if they if, it killed, I, if they did it to Biden, and it would still cause the same drama, and I would still say the same shit. Like don't like. <laughs> nah, don't fuck the child sniffer. <laughs> Honestly, it's it's just. How then America is today, especially with it, this political I, stuff, is just it's it's honestly just getting really depressing. Yeah, it is because it's only two fucking parties that are able to be voted in now. Like it's literally like two sides, pick or choose. When there's literally so many other options, Ameri yeah, America, literally, America used to be great because well, it, it's still great, 
it's it's the fact that it's turned into like like two sides and not like five sides you know what i mean because if, mm-hmm. if it was more like divided into like you know moderate like whatever fucking other shit you call it with all these other like fucking candidates there wouldn't be as much fighting it would be the div- yeah. it would be like spread out more so the yeah. point it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be as bad but no everybody wants to keep doing democrat republican but nobody wants to you know look at the smaller guys and see what they're saying like at all yeah, and yeah. That's why, a lot of people don't know about why, those smaller parties and that is why i'm voting for Furman supreme wizard chancellor let's go <laughs> i think that most people don't know about the other parties because it's not really taught not in to. school it's, it's, and yeah, like it's, in most yeah. like the, the debates might be on tv but a lot of the like those other parties aren't really ever like yeah in the they're debate. not allowed to it's because they don't have yeah. as much money right that's yeah or, it all yeah, comes down to money, money in the money. end honestly it's like, money it's money and presence it's literally yeah it. money and presence like literally yeah um, that's why like, even yeah. on like a smaller scale like uh brandon herrera he ran for like his local like political thing and like he they were only able to spend like a fraction of what the guy who ended up winning spent because and it but yeah he was he was almost there it's like it costs yeah. so much money to do this shit i don't know i don't know the exact numbers but i know that that's what he said that like j- running for any level of political like position is incredibly expensive i, I let alone like and that's the why bernie presidency. sanders had to drop out like even yeah i hate that commie uh, that's why they have that, he, that fucking meme i'm once again asking for your support yeah literally it's just like because he, he was didn't pulling have enough boogie. money yeah he didn't have enough money to like be able to continue to do it because he, he should have like, just he, started bernie coin yeah <laughs> well we call about 20 to 2016 elections because hillary did do some bullshit where she would take fucking uh Bernie off the ballot in those states that were choosing the demo- uh, Democratic nomination. Oh, yeah, there's also that. That, that has been exposed. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. like the 2020 shit, like Bernie was winning by a landslide, and then one week later was fucking Biden. Like that's that's fucking weird as shit too. Because Biden's family and but in him have like so but many connections was, with rich people, and like Bernie does nine, not. Yeah, it was like 91 percent like Bernie Sanders, and like Biden was like three percent, and then like two one to two weeks later, like complete flip. Yeah, and well, it's because the party needs to make it look fair. Because technically, like legally, the party they can put <laughs> whoever they want as their nominee. The like the votes, like the have... caucus votes, or not, none of that is like matters. The parties are like private thing entities or whatever. Like they can, if they wanted to, they're completely legally allowed to just pick whoever they want to run, no matter what like the votes are. At the end yep. of the day, so the Iowa the caucus pre- in twenty twenty, guess where Joe Biden was. Not He's even in my caucus. Well, not even top three. Yeah, it yeah, was Pete, yeah. Butte, Butte, uh, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren. This is going to sound very conspiratorial, but at the end of the day, the president is just a figurehead. No, oh, yeah, he's he's a puppet. Yeah, yeah. It, he's so like for other the fact, yeah, yeah, I know. There's the fact that yeah, for like major corporations and businesses and all this other lobbyist. Shit. Yep, lobbyist, and uh, it, it's at the end of the day, like, why are we? so focused like what like i i don't know what it is it might be the media it might be something else but like they've like trained us to focus more on the figureheads more than what's going behind the scenes with the people like funding them and what their agendas are bill gates Mm -hmm. brother which 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 is what we should be looking at more (laughs) instead of just the fucking figurehead because what the figurehead says he he, like, like i said the president doesn't have all the power dude I'm I mean, say yeah, he, crazy. he can press the button to nuke somebody, yeah, sure, but, like, I'm gonna tell he you doesn't guys, have all the power. I'm going to tell you guys something crazy that's absolutely the truth right now. So, there was conspiracy theory. Alex Jones had this conspiracy theory three or four years ago now, when Bill Gates was buying up a bunch of fucking land in the middle of nowhere in, like, Iowa, Nebraska, Illinois, all these random ass places, right? Mm, let me guess. He set up like little towns so that he can vote for whatever he wanted. Well, no, he was he um, bought all this land and then he secured a patent for um for uh, what is it vaccinations with mosquitoes, right? Where the mosquito the would fuck? inject vaccine DNA into you. All you had to do is get you know 
you know, wait, what? bit by what? a mosquito. And what? so recently it has come out that Bill Gates is now officially publicly coming out of using mosquitoes for vaccinations. And they, they, I believe they ran their first clinical. Let me look this up. That's like the most unhealthy. Well, well, they're using probably like homegrown, home like fucking grown mosquitoes, right? Not yeah, no, it's wild. lab lab made mosquitoes. Oh, okay, so then they wouldn't have the diseases that come along with normal. Okay, but why? Like, bro, just get a needle. Like, it it, it, it literally well, it makes it, no fucking sense. Well, it's just what like the DARPA secure patent their, for uh... COVID nineteen before oh, yeah, the, the, before two thousand seventeen. The vaccine that uh the vaccine they say nowadays uh did absolutely nothing but cause right. side effects that were But bad. now think of it this way, right? I think COVID I, I'm a true believer in this because nowhere else in history have we ever pushed a vac the United States of America and the world, like the elites, have ever pushed a vaccine. Not even for ever. swine flu back in not the day. Not for swine flu, not, not for typhoid, nothing. They didn't even do this for the plague, and we we oh, was natural immunity though with the plague, well, which was wait, actually the, killing like people. Like the plague, like the Black Plague, yeah. Because they didn't know what the fuck a vaccination was, flatly. <laughs> they didn't have that back then, though. <laughs> they didn't even know what bacteria but was. There are bro. a bunch of doctors on Twitter when Bill Gates owned a large share of it. There are a bunch of doctors on Twitter that were saying, "Hey, our tests have come back conclusive. It's just like the common flu. It just spreads faster. It's not more deadly than the flu. It's not worse than the flu." It's just it's all about way money. more contagious than the flu. But I honestly think what happened, because it, it ended up coming out that COVID-19 was lab engineered, and we were told for years until Joe oh, Biden yeah. had to finally say, yeah, we're running an investigation of Wuhan lab, and we can confirm that COVID-19 did come from the origin site at the Wuhan facility. But they were telling us for years, no, that's just a falsehood. No, Alex Jones is speak is crazy. All everyone that's saying that is crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. So there's you're crazy. One thing, they were saying the vaccinations don't work. They're saying you're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. I honestly think it was a puppet game. Hear me. I I legitimately I don't think it was a leak. I think it was on, done on purpose. It's a tinfoil hat theory. But it makes the most logical sense. If I was in power right now and I wanted to stay in power, I wanted to see if I can geoengineer a vaccine that could absolutely kneel half the population against another population so that they will listen to whatever yeah, i say and whatever at least i can hire to listen to whatever they can say basic basic sheeple right how do you corral brick let's get brick in here and no, i'm just kidding i know right <laughs> but oh, everyone thinks shit. oh that's such a that's such a um a pipe fantasy but i'm telling you guys right now if i was rich and powerful I'm fucking doing that. I'm staying. Fuck everybody. I'm staying rich and powerful. You guys are gonna be underneath my feet, and that's I know exactly what would See, happen. If to I me. was, if, if I had billions of dollars, I would be the most corrupt person in the world. I don't trust myself with a billion dollars. I know exactly what I do. Someone has an argument with me, I want to blow your fucking country up because I'm that man now, right? And everybody says, "All oh. right, NSA satellite." Yeah, I know, right? right, I know, right? <laughs> but I, I'm 100% in the belief that money does corrupt. Oh, yeah. And I, I mean, know exactly what I'd be if I was corrupt. I would put all of you guys on. Everybody I know would be on board, right? There's there's two things that uh, corrupt humans, uh, you know, uh, power and money. Well, money leads to power, and the power leads to corruption. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. They, uh, they had to come forward with the mosquito thing with Bill Gates because of the malaria cases in uh, uh, Florida. I believe they're having these crazy malaria cases in Florida and Texas. And um, they're saying, no, these aren't our genetically released, or these aren't our genetically modified mosquitoes. They're just normal mosquitoes with malaria. And then they came forward with what they're actually testing with. Their, their actual genetically modified mosquitoes. They're like, what the fuck? Dude, um, they need to stop genetically modifying, like, fucking animals, okay. bro. Because one day it's going to lead to the downfall of humanity. <laughs> this is a little bit of a derail, we did that with but... But uh, Ava, Chris Tyson has deleted every single tweet on their Twitter. There's nothing there now. Just now? Oh. Everything's gone. Like, yeah. when did that happen? Hey, I, just, I just told you that earlier. Well, I thought you were talking about deleting the original tweet. I didn't think you everything. Oh, holy yeah, shit. I guess cool. Japan has been doing the mosquito stuff for a while now, too. And the hornets. Well, yeah, they made little murder hornets. But yeah, it's uh, honestly, at the end of the day, like, as much as people want to like shit on Alex Jones, like he's always half right. Yeah, there's always a truth to his 
He, there's his, always uh, some truths. Like, he's like, they're poisoning the water and turning the frogs gay. No, that was actually well, happened. Like, the frogs well, were no, no, creating, well, it, like, it the female being, protein, yeah. and they're becoming enough to well, reproduce. It, what he said, what, what, like, like the way he says things, like, Joe Rogan was literally telling him, the way he says things, like, it, it, it isn't entirely true because, you know, being, you know, like, uh, what was it? They're not actually gay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you know, really yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's like, uh... It's, the things he says, it's like, like he's putting them into like trigger words for someone to yeah. try and understand. It's like sometimes he he'll be wrong, sometimes he's right, and when he's right, he's absolutely right. You know what I mean? My thing is, is with everyone talking about the uh, the presidential conspiracy, like the new one is Trump hired his own assassination so that he could, um, so he can. Um, oh, I hate that. Survive stupid, an assassination attempt. And oh, Black I was like. Oh. It was a it was an FBI uh, lady. This lady in the FBI oh, was doing. Rock, my bad. I, I was thinking of Red Dead Redemption. I don't, I don't know why I said. But Black all these people with these conspiracies, and I'm just like, why did you guys, especially the left, why did you find, and why did you fucking dismantle Alex Jones? Yeah, because it's the lefties that are one where they're coming up with this fucking uh, um, conspiracy theory too. It doesn't it's make sense. Like, though. People it's, know it, who own the world. Their hatred. Their hatred for towards Trump is blind to them, to the point where now they're they're literally coming up with conspiracy theories as to why he was trying like he he, like he oh he assassinated himself it was nobody else nope nope he he did it himself because they hate him so much that they're so blinded by their own rage that they can't accept the fact that you know. Do you guys know that two groups, <laughs> two financial firms own the majority of the United States, and that's BlackRock oh, yeah, and yeah. Vanguard. Yeah. It's just so crazy to see that Gunner was. And a black rock ad, and I was like, "What the fuck?" She black, she black on my rock till I vanguard, bro. Oh god, oh, god. <laughs> no cap. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, anything else about the Destiny stuff? Or? Uh, he's Destiny's a man a child. He needs to grow up. Stop taking Vyvanse every two minutes. Dude, um, I don't get it. I don't get Destiny because he also comes up with the smart. same crazy conspiracies that Alex Jones does. And then just puts a leftist take on it. Like, okay, maybe, maybe like, uh, what was it with COVID? Okay, maybe the vaccine wasn't effective, but we should still get boosted for it. I'm like, w are you stupid? Like, first, oh, <laughs> oh, his take on the second, um, every single liberal had this also, fucking thing. Also, a second he's a quarantine. Degenerate. Yeah, also a, degenerate. I was like, you're I... stupid. You're stupid. Why would we want a second quarantine? People were like, well, the first one didn't work and the numbers were still high and people weren't even staying inside. I'm like, okay. And you're going to use those talking points to justify a second quarantine? What's stopping me from doing exactly what I did in the first quarantine? I have a funny story about when you're done. <laughs> it's, so, it's so good. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so when I was at work during the pandemic, right, it's like, uh, so we had to wear masks and everything. Like, uh, you uh, can't work yep. unless you wear a mask. Oh, the sit down so, thing? Yeah, so... I, I like I literally had n like no time like we were getting fucking swarmed that day right so I had no time to like change my gloves so my mask was slipping down my face a little bit underneath my nose and I couldn't change it because we're like literally getting rushed and, and like I I could not like even pull up my mask because I'm working like so fucking fast with so many orders and stuff like that so some asshole retard. Like, I could tell this guy, like, has never had power in his entire life whatsoever. You look at a scrawny motherfucker that got bullied, okay? And it, so my mask slipped underneath my nose for maybe, like, two minutes. Literally two minutes. And this guy on the, like, this one fucking customer was just like, that's not how you wear a mask. Dude, I wanted to flip out so fucking dude, I hard. I fucking hate people like, my, dude, my I, biggest it, asinine thing uh, in the world dude, with restaurants, bro. so hard. Dude, so I, I literally had my glove on. I knew it was his order because, like, he just ordered. Like, it, it that was his order popped up, and I, you can tell who took the order. So I, I literally pull up my mask, didn't change my gloves, and I just kept making his food. And I was like, <laughs> fuck you. I don't care if you get some sort of disease. I don't give, I don't give a fuck. That shit was so stupid. So at the restaurant I was working at, I'm not going to lie, I think Our I can talk about it now. But we were all forced to wear wear masks and gloves. It was just completely impractical the whole time. Why? Not it's only they... that, not only that, but w we had servers going from table to table. Now, keep in mind, right? It's masks on when you're walking, but you're sitting down without a mask. Does COVID only go three feet? High? That's not how that works. 
and people yeah, are just blindly literally. following this. I'm like, you guys are so stupid. This goes against everything we learned about the Black Plague and viruses, especially if it's airborne and it's found in water droplets. You know where water droplets are? You know how you can get water droplets? Bro, I can sneeze, and then you can touch a wet Coke can. You don't even know if it's wet. I can wet, sweat right? a little bit. I, yeah. Literally sweat. Yeah, you can... So stupid, bro. It goes against yeah, everything I was so... taught in biology. It was so, so dumb. They, I actually have a and the curfews. To that as well. What the fuck? I had our, at our work, so we're always behind, like, uh... <laughs> My bad. I got COVID. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> we're always, we were always behind a counter, and the only person that has to deal with, like, uh... It, deal with the customers is, like, handing out the food, right? And, it, like, they, they don't even, like, leave the line to do that. They just hand it to them. They come up to the, like, the... You pick up your order here, or whatever. So... Like, we had major precautions and everything. We had, like, fucking, uh, we had, like, you know, those, uh, those, like, pla not, what, plastic, like, fucking things coming down that were yeah. see-through and everything. So we were nowhere near the customers. And, like, like oh, dude, and it, it's just, it's stupid. It was it's so dumb. stupid, bro. I, I did not understand that at all. Dude, at do you know, do you mean, like, so I remember he, the and then the people, and then the people that got fucking brainwashed by it too. Or they were like in hazmat sheep. suits and everything? It, no, no. Uh, uh, so I remember one time I took a picture with the homies, right? We were all chilling with no masks on. And this, like, fucking white Starbucks girl swipes up on my fucking story. And she's just like, you guys weren't wearing masks? <laughs> you don't care about your family dying? I'm like, bitch, you don't know me or my family. <laughs> my thing my thing with that is good <laughs> my grandma said this is what my grandma said if you're <laughs> she's like i survived the cold war if i die to a virus that's bitch made that's pretty much what she said she she said it in a longer term but she said if i'm gonna go out i'm gonna go out i don't give a fuck i'm living my life I'm going pretty out much. Swinging. Yeah, I'm going out. Yeah. my thing is if you're gonna fucking die to a virus why keep you around i mean Genetic, scientifically speaking, if we're gonna go on okay. scientifically, All right. you know what I'm no, saying? No, 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 no. This is what this is a liberal. No, this is a liberal talking we're point. Going genetics. This was a liberal talking point for a while because they were they were saying let's trust the science, trust the science. I was like, well, the science tells me if you're gonna die to a virus you should probably die so we can still strengthen the gene pool so that we could all survive the next time a virus comes around you know what i mean that's okay, what right, science tells us say, now yeah. morally speaking that is wrong everyone deserves to live that's the human experience speaking, right it's, it's true yeah but scientifically yeah, okay, speaking like it. it is true are we just picking yeah, and choosing when we're to follow why, science uh, why the black plague doesn't work on us anymore is because they uh we are grew our, yeah. everybody that was yeah, susceptible yeah, died systems, yeah yeah, our immune system strengthened. The people that survived are the people that uh, you know, gave us that fucking yeah, yeah. That's how it usually works. It was just so it was so crazy to me, bro. People were so terrified. COVID, god damn it! Stop attacking me. <laughs> god damn COVID. I do <laughs> I got the, the only up. people I could really see that would be terrified of COVID is the people that had compromised immune systems. Not only were oh, those yeah. fears heightened, but people don't even realize, like everybody who started caring about these compromised immune systems, like you have no idea what these people have been living like their whole lives. These motherfuckers could literally die literally. from anything. You didn't care about they them with a common the flu. They you didn't care about swine flu. Cold, yeah, exactly. Dude. You guys didn't care about them then. You're just using it as a talking point to get what you want. Yeah, because that that actually I under, yeah that actually kind of made me mad because you know one of my family members has an autoimmune disease. So, <laughs> just like, yeah. oh, so now you guys care? <laughs> now you guys care? What the fuck? <laughs> it was so, it was so asinine, bro. I just can't stand. They didn't understand anything about COVID. Oh, what was the the um myocarditis or whatever is happening now with people with COVID? Now they were saying, oh, that's not real. That's not real. Then doctors started coming. Hey, this is real. The blood clots are real. Like this is an actual thing going on now. And then I saw an article last year. I think it was CNN and it was, why didn't they try to, why didn't they warn us about this before? They should have done a better job at convincing us. I was like, Oh my yeah. God, somehow it's Trump's fault. They tried to make it like it was Trump's fault. Yeah, they did. I and then the, what was like, the oh, thing? Trump's Trump? fault. The people are dying. All this is happening. He didn't do good enough. Well, first like, off, they all didn't want to take Trump's vaccine. The other thing, no. um, when those doc, the Chinese doctors that came forward with Trump and Trump was saying that, um, we have a vaccine for COVID that's almost 100% effective. It can fight the virus. They said, no, it's a horse medication or something like that. Oh, uh, no, uh, that was the Joe Rogan thing. It was, that was Joe, it, it wasn't him. It was Joe Rogan. They, they, he, uh, so Joe Rogan made a statement, um, 
that uh vitamin d and uh well he didn't say that ho- uh heart uh heart medication for for horses or like for like worms or whatever helped it he never said that but the media ran with it they're like oh he said this even though it's not what they he use said. that now though yeah it does they, it wait, effectively wait, they... combats COVID 19 yeah it's yeah. true wait what? yeah wait oh fuck all I, you know how I got rid of my COVID and kicked it in two days was I went outside, got some vitamin D. Honestly, I got COVID in the winter. I was just shoveling, and then I was fine. I was just yeah, fine. Yeah. After. Yeah. It was crazy. That's, it was that's because yeah, it's called. I started sun, working buddy. out. <laughs> vitamin D. There you go. <laughs> I legitimately think. Well, I got super into the the herbal things. I honestly think like the things that we grow from the ground and what nature gives us is it's also because the best also probably medicine I have a outside of an infection deeper autoimmune disease dude I, if i get sick it only lasts like maybe a day or two it, it doesn't last long for me like unless it's a cold for some reason it takes like three or four days to be dude like, when yeah. covid I got, got me COVID the first too. time it hit me like a kicked it in two days bro that shit hit me all, in all, one day and day, i was fine the next yeah first day couldn't taste or anything i was congested da 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 coughing Second day, oh, my whole body ached. I lay down for a little while. Oh, I went outside, sat in a chair, felt the fucking warm sun on my skin, went back to bed, woke up the next day perfectly fine. Yeah, I had, I got COVID, and, like, the first day whenever, like, I went get tested and was told that I had it, that day I was, like, I was at work, and I was, like, getting lightheaded and shit, and they were like, oh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to leave and go to, like, urgent care. So I had COVID. The next by the like by the end of the next day, I was completely fine, but I still got like a week off of work pay. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll take it." Only thing I was mad about was that I didn't get it earlier. Because in the early parts of COVID, at least at my work, it was like two. It was two weeks you had to stay out. Because like I knew one of the guys at the company that I was working at the time, he was out for like a month because like he was out for like a month because uh I think it was his wife had it, so then he had to stay. He had to stay Even home longer. for two weeks. Yeah. He had to stay. He had to stay home for two weeks. Then he got it from his wife. So then he had to stay home for another two weeks. And then his daughter got it. So then he had to oh stay home for another. God. He was out for a fucking month. And I was like, all I got was a month. all I got was a fucking week. I, <laughs> I like, gotta tell you, fuck? when COVID first dropped, I was terrified. This is when my mom still had her was, job. She was a surgical yeah, I was nurse, right? For that family member so, I was talking about. But other than that, I, I was just so, like, all right. In this area, my parents, because they worked, they worked at the hospital. They were like one of the first few. It was her, the doctor, uh, the patient zero that came in from New York City. Didn't know they had it until they had to go to the hospital. Um, and then I believe it was another staffer. But my mom came home fine. Uh, super. The next day, super sick. And then they, the sheriff's department shows up at our, at our house. Kind of like, yeah, you you came into contact with COVID nineteen. Da 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 da. That was patient Wait, zero. Why the fuck did the sh- why did pa- nobody Wait, oh, nobody told what? them that? They shipped this person out from New York City. And nobody told them that. Bro, I'm like, that's what insane. You shipped out. You did, like they're wait what? I'm so confused by this. Why would the sheriff come to your door and tell like you got patient zero? And no, the co- the sheriff's department had like a care package or some shit from that. After they notified my mom. Oh, okay. Like they, the sheriff's that's department cool. came with. That's how you I got found patient out. Patient zero for New York. I don't know if that was patient zero for New York, but that was definitely patient zero for the area I Your was area? in. Area. Oh, yeah. okay, all right. But the I literally was sitting at home, getting ready to go to work, and the sheriff's department knocks on my door and said, "Hey, so and so, your parents contracted this. Da 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 da. And here's a care package." So I found out from the sheriff. I was like, "What the hell?" So I went to my mom. And they go, "Yeah, my work called me this morning." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" He's like, "You can't go anywhere." I was like, "Oh shit, am I gonna get sick or die?" And I was just seeing all this shit online of people dying. I was terrified, but nothing happened to me, and I was pissed. I was like, "What well, yeah. the fuck? Why were they? Why would they fear monger me so bad?" I'll, and then I was looking at other things. Oh yeah, things. they definitely fear mongered. As much as that sounds Anyone, like a hat theory, yeah. it's, it's definitely true. Like you, anytime can just you want to beat something like it. that, you wouldn't fear monger. You wouldn't want to cause yeah. panic. And, and that, but that's yet, what they were doing. Literally. I was like, I've never seen anything like this before because. That literally goes against like everything. Dude, like, like I said, vision, I, I it goes grew against up everything. through swine flu, and it wasn't even like that. And they swine flu, wear masks. dude. Swine flu was horrible. I had a fucking, I had um. Dude, swine flu was called? worse than COVID, bro. Yeah, you got. I had water in my lungs, and then I was um. Oh, that's just pneumonia. Yeah, I, I got really bad pneumonia from that, and then I got a really really bad infection. I had to actually go to the hospital for swine flu. I was on a um. What is that thing they put in your mouth? It was they're pushing air through it for a little bit. Yeah, uh, it was like fucking ten or some shit. 
Asthmatic, Asthmatic, like a breathing I don't food. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I wouldn't know. But they said that it had like medicine in it or some shit like that. I was just breathing it in. Asthma people use it or some shit. I don't know what it was. I don't be real true. Oh, like a CPAP asthma. machine or something like that? Some maybe. I don't know. I'm not a doctor from be real true. I'm just trying to explain the best words I can. But they said there was medicine. You just got to hold this in your mouth and breathe. And I was like, what the fuck? Crazy, bro. All you mean right. I can vape medicine? I can breathe medicine? Holy shit. <laughs> 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 uh, but do we, do we, uh, anybody else have any thoughts on this whole Tin Destiny? Foil. D D Destiny? I mean, uh, I, yeah, I, do. I mean, I, I, at first, I I didn't realize how many, looking at the docket, I didn't realize how many tweets he actually made. I only ever saw, insane. like, the first one. The only, he only ever saw the first one about he was, yeah. Right? He does this every time. Do we have yeah, I only ever, 13 or 12 pages. Yeah, I, I only ever saw the the first tweet about him saying that he was conflicted, and I was like, conflicted? I was like, it it shouldn't matter. Like, it's not a good thing. But then reading some of, like, reading some of these other ones Morally, uh, is, like, insane. Like, like, especially this one where he says, if we learned anything today, I hope it's realizing the importance of principles. I've stressed many times on stream before, having a firearm means absolutely nothing if you don't spend time at the range practicing with it. Like, what, what the fuck? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? What the fuck? It's supposed to, it's supposed to, it's supposed to mean the, the shooter should have practiced his shots more. That's what he's saying. Bro, the fucking, the shooter was a nerd, bro. Like, you think that, like, no. He, he doesn't know well, one, yeah, he was a nerd, and he was, well, he was also a, a Demolition Ranch fan, because as they came to find out, he was wearing a Demolition Ranch shirt. And the last which, thing uh, he on his Which phone fucking sucks for Demolition Ranch. Surprise. Yeah, it sucks for Demolition Ranch because like a lot of fucking news articles were saying, like when talking about the shooter, were being like, "Yeah, he seemed to be a part of this uh, far right uh, militia," what? or like, "Yeah, like they were they were basically calling like how Demolition Ranch calls his fan base the demolitia. They were like trying to take the demolitia as like an actual like uh oh, like militia time, group. Dude. They tried yeah, doing that with Columbine and Marilyn Manson because yeah. they had a Marilyn Manson yeah. shirt on and do. And Doom, dude. Oh yeah, Doom. Eminem. Yep. Eminem was another one. Yep. Yeah. So like, oh, and, and like, then G GTA creates, dude, the full violent video game, like literally. Like, oh that my god, that's about. another stupid fucking which take got too. Scientifically, which also got scientifically disproven in studies. So I always like, blame yeah. the parents. If your kid, yes, if you're gonna your say parents. video games are violent and yet still have your kids play them, you're the problem. These parents are not held responsible in America these days. They're just not. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, th I think I, I think uh, parenting is going to be... I got my ass activity. beat. If I acted like any of these fucking kids, bro, I would. I got my ass beat, bro. Not going to cap. That yeah. shit... Yep. I mean, yep. abuse is one thing, but getting an ass beaten for something stupid you did, I honestly think is right. Well, like, that's... I, I... See, I didn't get my... I, I got my ass beaten for, like, it, like if I disrespected my mom as a kid. Like, well, not ass beaten, but, like, like... You know, you got punished for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's I some justice coming it. your way. Sit, sit, sit in this corner for uh, 25 minutes. My uh, grandma yeah, made had yeah, like frozen oh, peas, bro. Yeah. Uh, ew, uh, I thought it was rice. Rice is is worse, bro. Nah, frozen peas, the them rice. shits hurt my knees, uh, bro. No, see the the kneeling on rice is worse because rice is actually a little bit sharper, while while uh peas are literally just round. But it's crazy because I would literally she's like, okay, you can uh, she my I didn't kneel my on parents would give me an ultimatum, right? No video games for a week. Or 20 minutes on the pee chair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh I got to kneel on some peas. The pee chair. And so I always took the frozen peas, bro. But you know what it did to me, though? Not only did I, I would literally think about what I did. I'd probably do it again anyways. I don't give a fuck. But I realized if I can withstand this pain, I could just do it again. I'd do whatever fuck I want. Right? So I got to a point where the peas didn't work, and they would just take that shit away. <laughs> just stop yeah. working. I do, have, I do have some chiseled knees, though. I, I really think... Like I'm not I'm not a, but I'm not a parent my myself or anything but the way I've I think parents have gone a lot softer a lot. and it's created this this generation of like kids that think they can just get away with anything and do whatever the fuck they want without consequence and it, and it's fucking stupid. I think in a perfect like, world that, 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 see, the, w with the world the way it's going now you get more Jack Doherty's. And, yeah, uh, fucking that's what happens when you have a very and... loving parent who doesn't punish you or hit you. That's what I honestly think, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I honestly more, think I got more like it, it, my punishment was more like getting yelled at and like uh, like getting criticism. 
and that's why I'm able to take criticism a lot, like, easier nowadays. Like, like, all right, yeah, I hear where you're coming from and stuff like that. But it was more like yelling and criticism, like, hey, don't do this, you fucking retard, because this is how that's this is going to work would out. Do. If he, yeah. My dad yeah, would beat me, like, though. Like, literally. But I honestly like, think, yeah, though, yeah, my I mom would come in. I got, like, spankings, but other yeah. than that, it, it, was, it was nothing, it was, like, from, from spankings from the dad stern talking to from the mother you my mom I mean? would hit me with that i'm disappointed you i'm like ah shit bro. Oh, yeah, just beat yeah, me bro yeah, just hit dude, me hurts, <laughs> some it shit hurts, it hurts that shit hurts on a different that, level dude on a whole it hurts your soul <laughs> that just dude, even, but that's like, why hurt. i think that's the problem yeah. in america we have too many single moms or we have yeah. too many absent fathers you know what i'm saying i honestly think you need a dad there true. to, well, to that, strongly that, that assert was... dominance and a mom there to strongly assert emotional support because without those two things you're only half a human in my mind well, well, I you, for for me. Uh, well, I'm adopted, I so I got very for, lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for me, like I, I have a stepdad. It wasn't my real dad or anything. Well, you still had a father really. figure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So it's like but that's a, missing in a lot of homes. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. It's yeah, dude. It's just always the broken household that, and that's where all these retards come from, like online so and weird. offline. It, it, yeah, it's bad. Or you get those rejects to have those literal, those like, uh, those pussy ass dads. Or like, let's go team, uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, this guy yeah, definitely does not know how to change a tire. For everybody, like, no, just, that's not a man's man, bro. <laughs> Everyone Dude, I, can become I sound like a, a parent, right? Right now, this is so. Bad. Yeah, I know, right? My mom told me this, right? <laughs> Everyone can day. become a parent, <laughs> but it takes a real man and woman to become a father and a mother. Oh yeah, absolutely. I was like, damn. I didn't understand what that meant until my friends started having kids. I'm like, dude, you're kind of a deadbeat. <laughs> you're kind of a deadbeat. Yeah, literally, literally, that's 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 exactly how I felt. When my my uh my brother had a kid, and then my other brother had a kid, and then my friends were having kids Burns like that now. He's like, got a kid. Did you know that? Yeah, bro. Burn. Burn talk w on dad. this, bro. Burn W dad. Burn W dad. Be a dad. Yeah, I heard you got a kid. Uh, no. Yeah, his Tony. name's Tony. Yeah, I was just saying. <laughs> he sunned him. He sunned him. <laughs> you sunned no, your boy Tony. Absolutely. Well, then he would be dead. Okay. That's, All right. All right. That's, 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 uh, that's a case uh, for the FBI. Purely, that's, that's, no, no, no. that's your, your kid, punishment. No, no, no. I, I, <laughs> yeah, your that, if your kid is that severely autistic or Down syndrome. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. No, no, no. Yeah. All right. No, 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 no. I'm going to be calm on retarded. I'm gonna be on it's calm retarded. No, if, if I have like a Down syndrome kid, like it's in the trash can. He's going to be can. happy as fuck. No, in mean? the trash can. No, trash he's going to be happy in the worthless. trash can, man. But still, it's fucked. <laughs> I, mean, be dead. I mean, he'd be dead in the trash can. But... Okay, okay, no, no. I disavow. I, I disavow entirely. I completely <laughs> back on track. Completely. Yeah, back on track. Uh, and, uh, Bert would uh, be a terrible father. <laughs> I disagree yeah. now. I take it back. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, man, my kid's retarded. I'm abandoning <laughs> it. I don't care. Okay, I'm not even... all right, stop. Disavow. <laughs> hey, yo, based. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking um, of like, school alert? shootings and etc., have you guys looked into the Sam Hyde allegations? Wait, what not. just happened? What? Yeah, I heard Sam Hyde some allegations. What the fuck happened? What? Apparently, he was um having sex with a sixteen-year-old. Uh, well, is he proven? The allegations. I'm going to go find the tweets now, but... If you can put him in side chat, I can look at him. Even Sma Let me go Smaggle. Smaggle's the one that really brought it to everyone's attention. Oh, fucking Christ. As retarded as Smaggle is, that motherfucker is like Robin, I swear to God. Uh... When it comes to, like, finding information and shit. I don't know how he does it. But he does, somehow. Shout out remarks. Smaggle. Maybe it's... But yeah, uh, yeah, Smaggle like dropped this, and it's like there's like lots of like, it's awful. Uh, oh, right here, okay. If you could drop it in side chat, so I can, yeah. Copy link. It's in side chat. There's right, a wait, whole thread. This. There's a whole thread. Holy shit! Let's see. Uh. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, been, um, it's, it, like, even though I don't like I don't even like I don't even like Larix, but Larix got his hands on it too. I don't know what you're talking about. He's... 
Uh, you gotta scroll down a little bit and you'll find the actual evidence from this guy named Mel Cat... Cat... Belly. This mm -hmm. is kind of... Oh, shit. Mel Cat, Mel Cat, Mel Cat. If you can put the... Oh, no, 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 I, uh, put... it's, it's my, it's Cat Belly. Uh, you scroll down a little bit, it'll show the receipts. Holy shit, dude, what the fuck? Okay. Is this Sam? Is this Sam Hines' response? Oh no, this isn't Sam Hines' response. He didn't even respond to this. But can you put the mail cat whatever in the side chat? Oh yeah, yeah, I got you. I'll I'll share this right now. But yeah, uh, apparently he's being accused with all these like awful evidence, really bad evidence. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna mm -hmm. be real hard on you tomorrow for being obnoxious. Mm -hmm. No, just because it's time. Time to start using you the way I really want to. Oh. Fuck. What the it's fuck? Over. Oh fuck! This doesn't look good, dude. If Flatley mm. can edit in like the this part, bro, it's awful. Yeah, so this is. Uh... May... I mean, it, is Joe here? Oh, Joe is like a she, good yeah, like, Joe. Hyde fan. Joe. Joe's gone. No, uh... he, he probably went to bed. But yeah, yeah, this shit ain't this shit ain't, ain't looking she good. She looks hella young too. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah. Uh Rutro, would you be my secretary and do things I tell you to do? Like work things? Mm -hmm. Would you let me tell you to stop talking if I think you're talking too much? Alright, that that okay. That, that's uh What uh, don't worry, I think you'll let Okay. Oh shit, what the Samuel fuck? Samuel Hyde, what the fuck are you doing, bro? There's more? Holy shit, no! <laughs> Fuck. No! Yeah, it's a, uh, as more. a Rhode Islander, if this is true, we do not claim him. <laughs> we do not claim Sam I. The photos above are actually about 15-year-old girl. The Marquis is also accused of being a trans woman abusing a girl named Charlotte. There's also an accusation of Sam shoveling things up his rectum and not paying his workers. Mind you, this uh, posted to Kiwi Farms from 4chan. Oh fuck! So this is like, uh, none this of this is like was Kiwi actually farms. Oh yeah, it's all just it's just allegations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is allegations. Like right now, these are allegations. These are allegations, allegations, folks. But it does not look good. Yeah, it doesn't look good. But folks, at the end of the day, I mean, these most are allegations, allegations just don't look good at face value. Yeah, at face value, they don't look good at all, dude. What the fuck? Fish tank is over. Fish question mark? No, nah, I think fish tank is going to become way more popular now. Oh, Dude, with the kind of people that that avidly consume, like the big fish tankers, bro, they're oh, yeah. they're far like those people are like, yeah, they're unhinged. They're and a lot unhinged. of fish tank fans would probably view fish tank as more a Jets thing than Sam's. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. more of a Jet Neptune thing, honestly. Yeah. It's but more those, Jets like those thing. people like, are fucking crazy. Some Sam helps are. promote it and like probably helps fund it. To an extent, but like he has it, been it, on some things doing challenges as well, especially in the first oh, yeah. season where he was like Jet Goldstein or whatever. Yeah, he was the host was. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, Jet Goldstein, and then the judge or whatever in season two. He definitely helps out with it, so I think it's more oh, like a, sure. a, a, a amalgamation of them like working together. But it's more of a Jet Neptune thing at the end of the yeah. day, in my opinion. Because like before Fish Tank, Jet was just like a rapper or whatever. He was like a yeah. small rapper. What the fuck? It, like, dude, what am I actually looking at, though? Sam Hyde. Samuel Hyde is in, all right? I'm gonna need you to, like, respond to this fucking terrible shit. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Like, like, I, like, right, like, obviously it's allegations, but this doesn't look good at all. Like, in the slightest. Because <clears throat> I, I can tell if something's photoshopped, I, I, and this doesn't look photoshopped like at all also I mean, this it, girl doesn't look like this girl looks like a minor so it's it, it, at the end of the day folks uh if you're watching awt right now obviously um these are allegations, allegations yes take yeah. it with a grain of salt as always and i'm <clears> like mean, I, i'm trying to do right now but at face value this does not look good and i mean i'm it the the messages and whatnot yeah they don't look good but i mean anybody yeah. can just send whatever text with like their friend and then change the name to sam hyde I mean, oh, to be yeah, fair. yeah, yeah, true, especially since like, it's on Facebook, yeah, yeah, it's also Sam Hyde using Facebook. What, yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, but it, it is Sam. Well, obviously you can't like fake a picture, so it is Sam Hyatt yeah. shirtless with a minor. Yeah, but I mean, we don't. So, well, we don't know if it's actually he, a minor. Yeah, true. The only thing I will say is that she does look very young. But other than that, I don't have anything else. These are. I mean, there's plenty of minors that look way older than they are, and there's plenty of people who are older, yeah, 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 older, yeah, yeah, and look true. young. But it doesn't really mean like one of a, uh, like a family friend of mine. Uh, she like she's. How old is she? I know she's like a couple years older than me. I'm 23, yet she's like shorter than me and looks like she would still be in high school. Yeah, like, all right. That, yeah, true. You know. But, all right. Yeah, like I said, folks, at the end of the day, allegations, not much we can run with right here until either Sam mm. Hyde responds or there's like actual pure fucking evidence that he did this. So, yeah, they, take it with a grain of salt, if you will. Find the info on yourself. yourself and yeah, yeah. That whole thing. I, it, God damn it, I like Sam Hyde, son of a bitch. J Boys hopping off the porch. Hmm. Where is fucking From Joe? From Gaza to Zaza. All, this, this is like I the perfect thing to Joe to like fucking. Joe, you're gay. Yeah, fuck you, Joe. Joe, you're stupid. You have no family. Right. <laughs> How is he joining back? I think well, I keep dragging dragging him. I'm, I'm oh, dragging him back and forth to get uh... All right, are, uh, do we have anything um, else for this episode, though? Are we good? I, mean, like, I, uh... I, I still got a few comments about the, the Destiny stuff. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, go, yeah, ahead, go ahead, ahead, brother. So, like, I mean, kind of drawing back to like, Turtle Island, I didn't really cut in because I didn't want to cut anybody off or something like that. Like, <laughs> yes, what he said, <laughs> yes, what he said, what he was saying was bad. Um, Do I think he should have gotten demonetized on fucking Twitter and banned off kick? No, but no. it is. Yeah, it is. I agree. It, there, Freedom of speech is, it protects him where he has the ability to say those things, but freedom of speech, I don't believe, protects you from, like, the yeah. private companies, like, the consequences of if they don't want you to say that or they don't want that on their platform, then they have every right to do that. Like, they, you know, if uh, if Twitter want, which, I mean, and it also comes down to, like, this happens with Destiny, but then the pedophile stuff. But it's like a lot of that isn't doesn't blow up as much, or it's like Destiny's like a big thing, and it's this is about politics, which is like especially right now is like a way more heated like thing current currently because we are in the middle of an election cycle. So yeah. Like, you know? So like yeah, like the pedophiles and shit should also be banned and whatnot. But like I can at least. Uh, see why that's not happening just given where we're at in society currently with everything going on uh i do want to criticize the 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 police of what was it pennsylvania because there are uh the pictures like as soon as the shooter started shooting the uh, the police snipers that were already posted up returned fire and killed him you know killed the shooter within seconds if they were already posted up how did you not see this person, this one person on the top of this roof? Like, I think it was the FBI inside the job. whole time. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, um, it was an inside job. Uh, the government did I, it, I do, obviously. I, um, uh, the, the guy was a registered the, Republican, the, by the, the way. Head of, the head of uh, Secret Service is stepping down Monday. Because uh, they were warned, like multiple people were warning, hey, there's a guy on the roof, there's a guy on the roof, a guy on the roof with a gun, a guy with a roof with a gun. Yeah, there's a bunch of pictures nothing. of like, like before the shooter was shot, which means that it was before the shots even happened. There was like pictures. I've seen pictures of like the the shooter laying down on the roof, like you know, with the rifle still in hand. And then I've seen the ones of like after he's been shot, where he's slumped over. In the age of information, it's harder to assassinate people. That's all I'm gonna yeah. say. And just the fact that Destiny was just so just unwilling to just be like, like it just seems like such a simple thing of being like. Yeah, this shouldn't be cel like a, an attempted assassination shouldn't be celebrated, but it seemed like it's just weird why he was just so he's a lot. He's part trying, of me he, like like um whoever was uh like um I will agree with Assistant Sailor here when he shout out Assistant Sailor start making content motherfucker where have you been fucking do something all right God damn it anyways um that that was a joke but it, it, um I, I did agree <laughs> with his point that um. That that he was trying to justify, like what he was saying, like justifying, mm -hmm. like the, these quote unquote jokes and jabs that he was making about like why the guy why Trump should have been sh like shot and why the guy shouldn't have missed. I'm like, do you, 
that it just makes you look on hinge when you're trying to justify someone dying, which I completely yeah. Yeah. agree with. Yeah, and yeah, like me and Sister Stella don't see eye eye most, but I do agree. Yeah, and yeah, like I his whole thing of being like, oh, today. if you go to an insurrectionists yeah. rally, you fucked around and found out. It's like, yeah, but that doesn't oh, like back back. that. That could that could be like a, a somewhat valid argument if like if you if like the the firefighter guy if he had been at like the January sixth thing, which I personally don't think is an insurrection because Trump like was saying like peaceful to be peaceful which you could say yeah plausible deniability all that shit but whatever like it i don't i just personally don't think that it was an in, in an insurrection attempt uh but to to just like double down like i i'm fairly confident in like all the shit on like the twitter spaces because like i did i have i've watched the twitter space shit that was even like more unhinged because you just like would get instantly super heated at any conservative that was like trying to raise any counterpoints or like criticize him on it. It just seems a lot like for no, which I don't think he really has a reason to do this because he's pop. He's already popular. It feels like he's just trying to like rage bait of like, this is going to get people really talking about me and my, and get a lot more views on my shit. Mm. Cause like, I don't see other, like, cause it, and, and, it, and there is like a hint of like, hypocriticalness to it because i'm pretty sure when like uh ethan klein had made his thing about uh like the insinuation of like what was something about like a, a bombing at like a some sort of republican NRA. building or something like that yeah, it was NRA, some shit NRA. like that he yeah. wanted like he was like go bomb the nra or some shit some yeah whatever the shit it was like i'm pretty sure destiny was criticizing ethan about saying shit like that but then like basically saying this uh, this yeah, attempted assassin says, shouldn't have missed it's yeah. like yeah it's like what the fuck and then, like, when he went on, like, Piers Morgan's show, which I just watched, I listened to that yesterday while I was at work. As much as I don't like, like Piers Morgan, insane. he kneeled yeah. on Destiny. I'm sorry, but he oh, did. Oh, heavily. Heavily. Like, I'm not even a political and guy. I, I just like seeing retards fight with each other about politics. I yeah, like, I've had my own political debates, but, people, but... Yeah, like, I've had my own yeah. political, like, political, or, like, I guess more, like, social political debates about things. Like, whenever I used to be on TikTok a lot, like, I had, you know, multiple debates about about the Kyle Rittenhouse stuff and, uh, and, uh, like, abortion and whatnot. And it's, like, mm. but, like, I would still never be, like, to this extent and just, like, double down. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, to be, like, this political, like, just such political-minded. Well, for a dude that, you know... You know, jizz is in a girl's mouth and it makes out with her. You know, you see, what did you expect? You know, I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I, I gotta like, I do gotta like agree with Matt. When Matt, when when the fucking assassination attempt happened, Matt Pitt said like, "You guys get better stop watching out what you gotta what you say on Twitter and stuff." I completely agree. I, I agree. Think, like, uh, I do mm -hmm. think they're gonna start cracking down what people are saying now after the Trump assassination. So I definitely agree with Matt. You guys got to start fucking like <laughs> tone it down, tone it down as much as you can. <laughs> left and the right, not just <laughs> not just the left. The right. Yeah, I mean, not just I, the left, everyone, also the everyone. right. Everyone, literally everyone. Because the but also not... I'm too retarded for politics, mm. is why I never tweet about it. So I'm not in that boat. But <laughs> yeah, flatly over here adding schools. Flatly, <laughs> not not becoming a part of the town council in his area. Instead, just wants to Flatly. rant on, you know, AWT instead of actually doing something, you know. You know I'm not like a councilman. Kid. I'm not a political man. Well, maybe you should. As much as you talk. No, I'm just kidding. This, this, I'm, from, like, near the end of the docket, uh, wow, Destiny just looks like a fucking retard. He basically tried going at uh, Brandon Herrera because Brandon Herrera, he did a, he did a, a gun meme review video ab like about the shooting because, like, you know, he... That's what he does. And like any like even even a, a tragic event, if there's like a meme thing, he'll still do it. Like even when... and uh, holy fuck, let me. I'll just I'll just link put the the link for the specific one in the in the side. But he's Brandon Herrera. Because I've I've watched the gun meme review. He had a whole segment where he was where he was mocking how a lot of uh journalist sites were like making really stupid headlines about the Trump shooting. Like, uh, some of them were after saying, you're done, after you're done, I'm gonna call someone real quick. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the Washington Post, their, uh, their article about it 
said Trump escorted away after the loud noises at, at Pennsylvania rally. So like he had a whole segment where he went through a bunch of these and was like basically laughing at them. And Destiny's trying to retort to that being like breaking news is never 100% arial- reliable. And it's like, yeah, but um, even as soon, they, they might have not known exactly what was happening, but I'm pretty sure every nobody like questioned if it was gunshots or not. The, the dude literally got a bullet hole in the ear and was rushed off rushed off the fucking stage. Like, he's not trying to insinuate that there's... He, Destiny tries to claim that, like, he's implying that there's, like, a massive conspiracy. But it's like, no, because these, these news articles were just making, like, wildly incorrect uh, articles well, about... yeah, for clicks. Things. Yeah, they always yeah. do that. Like, <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to call this person because they haven't been here in a while. Anyways. Oh. We're calling Joe. I need to know his opinion. Like CNN, their article was Secret Service rushes Trump off stage after he falls at rally. Oh, loud noises. Yeah, That's another yeah, one. Is- yeah, loud noises. And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? No, he wasn't. He didn't fall. He got shot and dropped down. There were literal gunshots. Like, how do you, like, just CNN not. CNN is a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. If you were and then he like, and you're a cocksucker. Yeah. And I'm then there was sorry, like another. The person you were trying to reach has a voicemail. Fuck you, Joe. And then, like, there was somebody Piece mocking the CNN post saying if CNN had been around in 1963, JFK falls really, really hard at rally in Dallas. Yeah, I was there on the grassy knoll when he fell over, dude. He was yeah. trying to do a pop shove it on a fucking skateboard, and then he got shot. It was crazy. Yeah, it's insane. And Destiny's trying to... He's like, trying oh, to justify it's... the death of not only the firefighter, but also the death of, like, trying... Not even it, the it, death it, of Trump, but the shooting in general. And it's just like, yeah. bro, calm the fuck down. Maybe lay off the Vivant. Stop, like, fucking cracking out. Like, you just ate some World War II meth chocolate. All right? Calm the fuck down. It's not that... I mean, it's it's, it's deep, but it ain't that deep, bro. Calm the fuck down. Like, right? even... Like, I stream... I stream... I mean, well, you were you you were there, Sligans, earlier. I, well, I, I, I was, was watching... only for the bleach part. I wasn't... Yeah, yeah. I was... Really I it. was, uh... Like, I, I watched, uh... Just because I, I was listening to it at work, and I was like, what the fuck is this motherfucker saying? Like, I, uh... I had, a uh, So I stopped listening to it, and watch the rest on stream of destiny reacting to when boogie went on the uh that financial guys show where like he breaks down someone's finances and like tries to like get the, a yeah. plan together for them and there's like a whole like five ten minute segment where destiny basically tries arguing that like renting isn't pissing money away but owning a house is just pissing money away is he fucking retarded yeah, like one of the examples is like he goes on a whole bit where he's like, "I'm trying to remember how much I spent on." Because uh, I can tell you right now, like I live in a rented house. On, yeah, and it, and it pisses more money away than actually getting a mortgage. Yeah, he was like being like, "I'm trying to remember how much money and time I spent on maintaining my yard. I'm trying to remember how much money I spent replacing the AC in my apartment. I'm trying to remember how much money I spent replacing the fridge in my apartment." And it's like, wow, things that like might happen once like in a decade. Yeah, whenever literally. like and like even like replacing a fridge like a half like i said this on my stream like a half decent fridge might cost like a grand i guarantee destiny especially in miami his rent costs well over a grand oh wait wait the degenerate lives in miami yeah I'm who could have sure. thought whoa he lives and in like, fucking the next sodom like holy crap yeah. like he lives in miami and i already know wherever he lives like I'm, I'm pretty sure he lives like real close to the beach so you know he's playing paying at least a couple grand for his apartment and then i'm pretty sure he pays the rent or whatever for his uh he doesn't like, even live in a house he's gonna fucking talk about houses and mortgages yeah. and it, he's pissing away money now by living in an apartment instead of buying some property. And he tried saying like, then, only uh, people who think like a thing, house. yeah, he's like only people, only people saying that like a house isn't pissing away are people who have never owned a house. And it's like, yeah, but everything you're saying sounds like somebody who's never owned a house either. Some sounds like someone who's only ever lived in apartments. Yeah, that yeah, he, he's fucking stupid, bro. Renting out a house definitely pisses away more money. Like, and this is literally coming from a dude that lives in a rented house. Yeah, I do yeah, too. Which, yeah, so it's it's like what the fuck are you like, bro? He, I sometimes I just don't get this motherfucker. All right, like, he, like, ugh, dude, so Destiny's such a fucking man child, bro. And sometimes he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about because he's never been in these situations to begin with. Yeah, like, like this like, motherfucker's rich as fuck. He could buy land mm-hmm. in his own house in fucking Colorado and live out the rest of his days. Not even he could literally pay off the mortgage immediately. All right. Like, like yeah. I'm tired of like these. He could buy the house in cash. 
Yeah, literally, th these these rich streamers or these other people that are so out of touch with reality to the point where they don't even know that renting house pisses away more money than actually mortgaging one. Like that's fucking stupid. And I'm yeah. not even like a money guy. Like I'm not. I'm ter I'm bad with money. I I'm terrible with money, and oh, I know yeah. this shit because I have experience. Mm. <laughs> like, what, yeah, like, like what the fuck is this yeah. guy wait <laughs> bro it's such a stupid thought oh yeah dude dude mortgaging your house definitely is pissing away more money than buying and renting one <laughs> yeah it's is just this like guy fucking retarded <laughs> what? yeah it was it was such a oh yeah it was like a whole thing and like that's like whenever you started going off on that rant and i was like talking to myself while i'm at work and i'm like like fuck i'm actually like saying a bunch of shit like no i'm gonna stop listening to this and react to it on a stream yeah, yeah, true, oh true. shit so all right uh anything right, else anything else i don't know we're oh. a minute 40 in or an hour 40 all right in. i i think i think we said what we need to say anyways guys thank you for tuning in to awt it's been me flatly time lg joe kinda uh in in fucking burn and ant was here and leia was here but anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. You know, hit that like button, hit the share button, subscribe, hit the noti bell, all that other things. All of our channels will be in the description. Flatly, you better fucking put us in the description yeah. right this time. Anyways, <laughs> peace out, guys. See you.